I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because <sighs> that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the tracker's still counting down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock in a hard place? That is what I said. Hella knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? You mean solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Hey, Drax. You alright? You must be feeling pretty crap about having to punch through all those cops back on the station. Uh, do not worry. I simply need some time to get my thoughts in order. Right. Never thought we'd have to fight Nova Corps. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Nova Corps officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. No avoiding it, is there? Scott's sucking. Let's move on to something else already. Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Leave us alone, Quill. Uh, Rocket? Flark off, Quill! Come on, guys. I am Groot. Groot says, go away. Let's talk about it. Leave us alone. Groot, reason with him. Groot don't want to talk to you. Rocket. Groot? Guys! Rocket! So those coordinates... They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere here we come. Ah, 
of nowhere. Last spaceport on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, Oh look! The severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. The marketplace came after. Along with noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Novacore all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! Are Rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. <clears throat> Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. Whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. You think Cosmo will actually believe us? Like I said, we go way back. Plus he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. Have you had dealings with this Cosmo murderess? We've circled back to that name, have we? It's a statement of fact. More by trade, an assassin. And you're a convicted serial killer. Your hands aren't exactly clean. I washed them before leaving the ship. What about Rocket and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? It demonstrates a willingness to compromise. Yes, if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We've not yet spent our ill gotten gains. We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's gotta be someone shady enough in the market who can help. Maybe. Where do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Hey there. I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. He met right here. Back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave. It befits them. You're one to talk? How many people did you kill on your crusade against Thanos? Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Rex, 
Okay, heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Keep an eye on your things. These coops are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. They have fortune tellers on Earth. You have people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. I've encountered them on several planets. It's strange that's one of the things most galactic cultures share. That and walking on two legs. I always imagined aliens would be more alien. Are unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything he has done. Mantis, what are you? Do you still have those suicidal urges? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you? Hi. Sunlord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh, oh you poor... No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. Mantis, you okay? Oh, hey, Gamora! You look less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah. Uh. Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. We're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does, anyway. So, you want us to bring them back here? Not necessary. Transport will be waiting once it's captured the target. That'll work. We'll be in touch. Ah, let's go, Groot. What's the big idea, man? I think you got me confused with somebody else now. Come on, Rocket, let's talk about this. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? You can't just quit. We need you. Oh, well, uh, I don't need you. Find some other sucker to keep your ship together. You're more than just... I know that gone mop anywhere. Eat a queer. Uh, actually, maybe we can stick around for a bit. Last time I see you, you was running away from Mordelia. With your bridges, my friend done. Get ready for a fight. I'm always ready.
what the? I don't know what's going on here, but I thought we was friends, Eta. Or did you forget about me? What? What? No, no! Man, who could forget a face like that? <laughs> this is great! This is bad! This is really bad! Remember! Ita! You and me! What is he talking about? Oh, oh, oh! It's a song, right? It is. Of course it's a song! The one that was playing when Peter and me made our unbreakable blood oath. You did? Breakable blood oath? That is a serious commitment, Peter Quill. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 of course, I, I remember. You, me, uh, the, the, the music. Tells you what, Eta. How about you and me? Storm ride together! One more time. Here we go. You, uh, want to sing a song? Till the end, gotta finish the fight. Cause this storm gonna rage till the end of the night. Come on, Lita! Together! Rolling like a chain, ride, storm, 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 Come on, man. What? Let's sing the next line. More! Together till the end, now we look to the sky. Lightning strikes twice, now it's us to the fly. Sing with me, Vita. Driving through Ooh, the pouring rain. Pouring rain. Ride, Ride the song. So ready. For Flark's sake, let's go, Groot. Good times, good times, good times! You running the Ravagers now? I hear Yonder's doing time in the kill. <laughs> Me? Me? No, I, I got a new crew now. You? Still doing that, uh, thing you do? No, sorry. Novacor. Now my partner on Molivia. Um, but that's okay. I, uh, got a new business partner now. Into animal husbandry. You can say. Uh, that ain't no animal gonna have no husbands after she's through with them. Which reminds me, I best be going. Oh, really? That's too bad. Ah, well, listen, Peter. I uh, want to apologize for almost shooting you. Oh, <laughs> you weren't actually gonna shoot me. Oh, I would have uh, right in the head. Oh. But that's not the way to treat a storm rider, is it? Right, so. I got you. This. Instead. Uh, what is it? The ticket for Collector's Emporium. 
Yeah, I bought it thinking I'd have time to go and check out the oddities. Wow, thanks, man. That's awesome. Yeah, my pleasure. And remember. Nice one, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been worse. Where's Rocket? The rodent left the bar once he realized he would not be killed. <sighs> Great. What sort of ghost is hanging around? Something's making things up. I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. What the heck was that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. thing left to do and then I plan on doing some serious forgetting. What's that smell? I hope Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu, nowhere security. Super official. Go other way, Ali, Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo, not in Dower. He out there, Star Lord, in Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo prison. You choose. Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure, not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo, then I can deal with the team, if I can find them. Are you afraid, Peter Quill? I'm a brute and near invincible. I fear nothing. You, however, will perish in this maze. 
Cosmo? That you? Oh, I hate mazes. Especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude. Deep breath. Deep breath. Who's there? Look at you, Flarkin Humey. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. Flark! I'm giving myself a heart attack. here. Watch it, Star-Lord. And what's a filthy scut stain Terran doing out here, Rosen? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that. We might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys! Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran! The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, uh, lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die. Wait, did Lady Ace want him alive? Me. <laughs> uh, uh, lady Ace, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice. You don't cross Lady Ace. Uh, triple. Uh, oh, I'll triple it. Yeah, now, nah, Ron. Get crushed, Terry. Anybody think to bring refreshments? You gonna shut up already? You gonna stop him in two? You dropped your inside, Aaron. On his jacket. Uh, 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 lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die. Wait, did Lady Ace want him alive? Hey. Hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, 
Uh, uh, lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one, the lady one. So hurry up and die. Wait, that uh, lady ace won't him alive? Me. <laughs> uh, uh, lady ace, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice. You don't cross Lady ace. Uh, the triple. Oh, I'll triple it. Yeah, no, no, no. Maybe we sit down, have a choking dog, run this over? Maybe it ain't said you'd be a fan. It's boot fight time! Can we just talk about this? She's gonna feed you to her pets! Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched here. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. Ah! <laughs> Peter, shoot now! We need to keep them separated! Draw them apart before shooting, Peter! Keep them distracted, Peter! Yeah. 
What is happening? Be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What sort of enemies? I'm not sure exactly. His people were at war. And he knew that if he stayed with us, the war would follow him to Earth. So he made the hard choice. He gave up this life for the sake of his people. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sick. <sighs> oh, shit.
You don't think this was a coincidence, do you, Mom? Mom? I... I'm a little scared... failed your mission, miserably. Peter Quill, these lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we're in the...